be really careful here. It's, a lot of these blocks are loose. Down below, there are cracks and fissures in the staircases and walls. Here pretty regularly, and everybody... Well, here's a hell of a crack in this. this yeah. Thing. And there was worse to come. It is still very dangerous down here. A war zone. The deeper we descended, the darker and drearier and dustier it became. You gotta get all those concrete blocks above your head, so please just kind of keep an eye, try to stay up from underneath them. They're only being held on by wires. You could smell smoke, and when the wind shifts in certain pockets, there is the uniquely unmistakable smell of death. There was devastation everywhere. I want to make sure I understand this. There's a fire, maybe a considerable fire, still burning down there? Yes. Almost a week after this happened? Oh, yeah. We can't get at it. We'd like to go in there. When we pull all of that debris off it, we'll be able to put the fire out. We can't pull all the debris off it yet because we're still trying to find some people. And so New York City Fire Commissioner Thomas Von Essen has organized a bucket brigade to gingerly, painstakingly sift through the debris hoping for the welcome sound of a cry for help. But the odds, like the wreckage, are stacked against them. No one has been pulled out alive since Wednesday.